Hi and welcome to The Batch Lady. My name is Suzanne Mulholland, also known as The Batch Lady. And on this Batch Lady channel, I want to tell you all about how you can make multiple portions or batches of meals that are fast, simple, um, nutritious, easy to make, and you can get them all done and in your freezer ready to eat whenever you want. So this is about advanced freezer cooking and it is fantastic. Please stay tuned, I've got some brilliant recipes to show you. Um, today we are making fish pie. We're not making one as my motto always is, if you can make one, you may as well make two. This is about time management, it isn't just about cooking. And we're gonna make fish pie. People think fish pie is really hard to make. It is not, let me show you how easy it is. Okay, so I'm going to use some fish pie mix that I've just got from the supermarket. Um, three different kinds, um, including one smoked. I'm going to use my thing that I use all the time, which is my lovely ready-made mash ready to go, which is very good for you. You don't have to worry, it's not full of any badness. This is some more of my fish pie. I shall just throw in some of this extra stuff. There we go. And we've got some dill as well. Okay, and then we're going to make a sauce and I shall go through everything that we're going to do. Very simple. So we'll take our lids off. Now, I always forget to tell people, remember and label your lid or when it freezes, you never know actually what you actually got in there because it always looks different once it's frozen. So we've got our fish. We've added it all to here and we are just going to season it, okay? A quick season with some salt and pepper. Now this is three packets of fish. If you want my um, recipe, then just go onto the website and you'll get it from there, which is www.batchlady.com. Now, we just randomly put our fish in and I'm using these little glass dishes because they can go straight from the freezer to um, the oven, which is fantastic. Okay, so I've got my, my fish in there. Now we're gonna make the sauce. Now, you can make this luxury. I love to add egg and all different things. If you look in my luxury section, which may not be online yet, but I shall get it online, you will see that um, you can make fish pie for dinner guests and you can put egg and you can use a lot of double cream. I'm just going to use about 150 mils of double cream for this sauce. And I'm doubling the recipe, remember, so you need to um, think about that if you're doing it, well you don't need to think about it, you can look at my recipe guys. I'm using creme fraiche because I want it not to be full of double cream. I want half a tub of creme fraiche and I want some milk in it as well. And that, guys, is pretty much my sauce. Let me get my mixer and give it a mix around. This one is probably better actually. And just give it a little mix up to get that creme fraiche through. This just makes it a bit more healthy than using completely double cream. But if you do use double cream, it feels luxurious. It's lovely, it really tastes amazing. Okay, so that is my sauce. And in goes the sauce. It's just gonna cover the fish. It's as simple as that. We'll put that to the side. And there we have our fish pie and sauce mix. And your guests will be astounded, or your children will be astounded that you've made homemade fish pie, and it's that easy. Now we're gonna add some dill to it. Dill's always great with fish, and we are going to use just my lovely herb scissors, which makes it so easy. Just basically chop the dill over the top. We like quite a lot of dill, so I'm going to put quite a lot in. Now, stay tuned till the end, and I'm gonna tell you other things that you can batch with these exact same ingredients. So if you're doing this, you can do other things. I've been doing stuff this morning with these same ingredients and made different dishes. So I'm just going to give that a mix around. Okay. And I like to serve this with a wedge of lemon on the side and just some nice vegetables, which is fantastic and really good healthy meal for the kids. Now we're going to take our mashed potatoes and we're going to just scrumple them across the top. Now there's no need to cook any of this. This is basically like a dump bag. We're putting all the raw ingredients in. The mashed potatoes already been cooked, so it's ready to go. And the fish, there's no need to cook. The sauce, there's no need to cook. This can go in directly into the freezer and you usually use about one and a half for each fish pie and each fish pie is going to feed four people. Four to five, I'd say. We've got like generous portions in our house, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, look at that. Now, when you put that in the oven, that is going to bubble and bake and it's just going to go lovely. If you want to, you could put cheese on the top of it. If you're making this for young children, you might want to use less fish and more mash. 
you might want to miss out the dill. So you can, you can change it up because you're making homemade food. You can literally make it for your family. So um, if you're struggling to get kids to eat it, then make sure you've got plenty of cheese on the top, just a little bit of fish, maybe leave the dill off for the first couple of times or just put a little bit on. Now, I'll just give my hands a little wash. That took a couple of minutes and we have two fish pies that will feed four people. We simply put the lid on and they are going to go stacked in my freezer. Two meals, done. Now, if you want to make some more meals with the exact same ingredients, look at my um, fish cake recipe, which is using very similar ingredients. And if you've made the mess, you may as well keep going. We've got very little mess here to clean up and we've got two lovely fish pies. Please subscribe below if you really like these recipes. I'd love to do some more for you. It's free to subscribe. It just means that when you log on to YouTube, you'll be able to see some more of my videos. Um, and give me a big thumbs up or send me some comments, please. Thank you very much for watching. This is The Batch Lady.